Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a brand new Let's Play on Europa Universalis 40. Rights of Man, the brand new expansion for Europa Universalis. Now, we're going to be playing as something a bit a bit weird, considering the factions that are recommended with the brand new expansion. We're going to be playing as England, because I don't want to play as anyone who doesn't want to be played with, but I want to play as someone I'm familiar with and gets the great power stuff from the beginning. So, England was pretty much any better. I've played them before, but in multiplayer, so now I'm going to play them properly and I'm gonna try and teach people for some fucking reason how to play this game properly so let's do so this is gonna be a fucking train wreck just saying but oh well train wrecks can be fun in the right light never repeat that actually that might get you hurt more than anything else and the game's gonna load take a while to load because my computer has been on for like an hour so all the games are shit at loading at the moment <laughs> for some fucking reason okay so this they've upgraded a lot of stuff that i think is amazing just from reading the patch notes and whatnot so the first thing that i've noticed is this the great power so the 10 biggest powers in the world via rating development i think which is rating as well and technology costs so apparently apparently they have ming has the same fucking tech rate as the fuck <laughs> Anyway, we're sick. That makes me pretty fucking happy. I was going to play as the Ottomans to do their unique feature, but I'll do them eventually. So, we have a better, like, listing of powers, and it also lists, gives us a quick um, thing, and it gives us a bonuses as well, which is fucking awesome. I mean, that's awesome. Free power projection for <laughs> doing nothing, that's fucking brilliant. Uh, we have a Looming Disaster, which is the War of Roses, which is basically just something we can't not have a prop. We have to have, we have to have, it's just something that we need to do. And this has been completely changed to. So the person who gains a new power will be gained upon having a ruler for 25 years. Interesting. So we also have the. Gra Whoa, this is fucking weird. Uh, so we can demote culture. Can we promote culture? Uh, so yeah, this is very interesting. Country modifiers are a bit better shown. You can strengthen this now via uh, a button, which is nice. I'm. So we can only promote two cultures, which is Norman and Gascon. So I suppose that makes sense. So that's nice. The screen for this lets I go through every little bit of button. Now I'm not going to know what to do for the most part on these yet because I haven't looked too deep into it. We're going to learn that together. There's also an advocate button, but you need an air to advocate, which sucks. Um, well, it doesn't suck. It makes sense. So buttons here are the same. For the most part, the majority of the buttons are the same. Apart from the great powers action, so you can talk, take on foreign debt, so apparently we could take on someone's debt. Yeah, not gonna do that. Uh, we can influence the nation, intervene in a war, so we could influence the nation or make them break their alliance with Brittany. Admittedly, Burgundy is probably not gonna do that, but the point still stands is that we can do it. Now, I'm going to make quickly make my Diplo moves So at the beginning of the game. We're going to be allying with Austria so we can defeat France and personally union them basically at the beginning of the game because fuck France, because France are a bunch of dickheads. You do not hate Castile at the moment. Castile does not hate you, which means you are an opt. You are definitely a good alliance to fight France with. And the last thing I'm going to do is influence some Irish powers. No, can I influence Scotland? Influence nation. This was a one time cost of spending to 12 months of income, a sum presumably 53 gold to carry out, altering their opinion of us by 25 for 10 years. That's it's, yep, not needed. They rivaled me as well, so it's kind of useless. Uh, I am going to, I think, try and vassalize a few of the Irish powers, just or one of the Irish powers, so I can yeah, just basically push my will upon the entirety of Ireland via claims from my vassal. And it looks like Kildare, uh, or Connacht, or, or sorry, or Tyrone. I think Kildare is, uh, is uh, has won the uh, my affections for now. So I'm actually going to uh, influence the nation because it's cheap as fuck, <laughs> and we're going to try and push the relationship boundaries with them. Now rivals, rivals are basically someone you just want to you want to take over. It's very simple. It's someone you want to kill, and in game you gain bonuses by picking so. Say like um, Austria hates France. Now we go to if we go to our rivals, we put France there. 
we have a small increase or we will do because we're an enemy of the enemy and it just it gives them it grants grants little bonuses to relations so it's basically a uh, political maneuvering to gain land or political maneuvering to get yourself some allies we're gonna tell scotland to get fucked and burgundy hates me and so does denmark now burgundy is the bigger threat out of the two so i will tell burgundy to fuck itself because burgundy is on my border and they have land i want english parliament is an old feature it's basically have one of these or you're gonna gain corruption basically it's a pretty simple mechanic it's a pretty good mechanic though i will not lie um we actually want the technology cost cheapening now the illusion uh using of crown lands and stuff like this you don't really want to do you don't really want to promote meritocracy meritocracy oh fuck meritocracy meritocracy you don't want to do that you want to grant none of those they're all bad ideas so you, this may fail but it doesn't really matter if it fails because you'll just be able to get another one and doesn't actually really do shit it just you just don't get to do that thing for this moment so it's pretty simple now we have a much cleaner um look down here so the debased currency which is a new feature the repay loans button look much nicer and the debased currency which is basically it just increase corruption and get money which is dumb so yeah i'm not going to debase currency unless necessary it's like a taking a loan that you don't pay back it just increases your corruption instead which is dumb so i'd rather take a loan trade pretty simple it's been around since the beginning institution tax penalty Did, okay these are new so i'm gonna i'm worried i'm one, wondering what they would do probably something interesting and dickish ideas i believe are completely the same they may be tweaks but i believe yes they are pretty they are the same ideas that we've always had uh missions we there's no mission i want at the moment because i've got i'm going for a very specific idea or mission military is all the same and estates uh as far as i can tell are the same um so that's good uh, okay advisors we can can we afford advisors we make 4.6 gold a month so we can afford an advisor in every single slot it's also a bit clearer about what they do which is nice gives uh, players need to game better understanding so it like shows you the little logo for it so you can find the corresponding logo or in this heart that's actually it heart, whatever point being you can find the logo and it's pretty simple to uh, equate so national and rest is definitely something you'd want to do so that's good um for now we don't need him but he's 0.5 a month so we will take him uh because for some reason these guys are cheaper that's because he's, he's um he's just i've been guessing he's he was uh, spawned via an event or someone in our country or he's someone we who's meant to be there now everyone else is expensive discipline is definitely worth a ducat a month that i can promise you it increases the discipline which is what it's from and then it increases tactics slightly the more you have the later the more it's worth now we can pass, pass the advancement of religion which is not something you want to pass right now because we have no religious tendencies we're not going to be conquering anywhere where religious problems so they're up giving ourselves less less unrest is probably dumb um papacy uh is pretty much the same it looks like only the greatest powers in, of the catholic faith seem to be able to do anything though it's interesting i will not be playing the, the papal game i will be going protestant or reformed probably reformed as i think it's better so first things we need to do is set out our trade ships which is our, this fleet uh, we don't need to do that it's the wrong button select mission protect trade and we'll i'd say north sea is probably better to continue driving trade to our main node we don't completely own the english node but at the same time we are the majority so i think that it's better to continually push money into our node than it is to try and ramp up how much trade we have there's no real competitors to it and the british navy being one of the strongest at the time i believe it's the strongest at the moment i can't remember i think no castile might have a better one than us yeah we are the best navy of the time i thought we were so that's the basic features um so one thing you want to do is turn off your forts if you're not in any real way of war unless you can completely afford them like i've now increased my income because of the fact that i'm paying half from my fort so it's definitely something you should do if you need to now we need to make a bigger army than france that is the goal of this let's play to begin with because it allows me the mission i want 
Um, we need 5,000 men. Now, I'm not going to lie, it's probably better to make these into med uh, mercs, or at least some of them into mercs. Because, so that's one, two, three, four, right? That's four, that's, that's four taken from our manpower. And we're going to make the fifth and sixth in mercs. Now, we don't actually have to have these still after we take the mission. We just need to get them before the mission. So we're going to now unlock the time. So we're going to start heading forward. The Castile accepts our graceful alliance. They're not too happy about it. I mean, they want my provinces, but they're willing to overlook this due to the fact that we both hate France, which is something that they don't hate France. But, well, they're willing to ally me for some reason. Same religion. Apparently, that's good enough. They're a great power, so I wouldn't expect them to really want to. But apparently they do. So not next is for us is the Emperor Austria, as he will bring to bear the most power against France directly. And direct power is kind of what we need at the moment. Especially against France. Now we're currently making five gold, we're making a decent income. Uh, we have got the Humiliate rival against uh, Burgundy, Scotland, and France, which is a uh, cause value which I think is pretty useless unless you don't intend to take land from them. But I mean if you're just you want to rival them, you want to take land from them, so it's, it seems kind of catch me too, in my opinion. Whereas I personally think it's a good idea, it just, at the same, like, it's not a good idea, but at the same time it could be. It depends on what you need it for. Honestly, I would not recommend using it, though. It's not the best thing in the world. So we're going to continue to maneuver our men. Uh, at the moment, the only person we're improving relations with is Austria, because they're the only person we need to. Uh, we can currently have two more relation slots. And one of those will be for the vassal, so I'm actually going to need to increase uh, this guy's opinion of us. Uh, so we need to get a royal marriage, which gives us a chance of a new heir. We have no consort, because I believe the consort is the queen, queen consort or king consort. Or I believe it's king consort as well. It is basically a regent for your uh, underage child. He is infertile, and he's a scholar, so we have traits now. Which is, which is amazing. And apparently in three years he gains another personality, which I don't know how uh, ex going to be how happy I am with those personalities. Probably not going to be too fast. Now, it's going to take a bit of a while to get Austria on our good side, so we're going to go up to free speed to, well, lessen the time it takes. Um, of course, we're still going to continually try and... Ah, we have a consort. So this is actually the consort is just the queen or king of our ruler. So she's the queen consort. Uh, she's a 462. I don't know what that does. So does that give me more points? Does that help me in any way, shape, and form? Please tell me it does. Because if it does, that's amazing. But at least we know what our queens are called now. And it, I suppose it's just nice to know that there's queens and she's 30. So, I mean, she's only got a good 10 good years in her, which is not really that good. That sounds really bad, but trust me, ladies and gentlemen, it's true. Apparently, France must have increased their military as well. Yes, they did, to 34,000. Those dicks. Yeah, we can not really afford too many more of these. So we're going to just... Throw another two cav down. We'll throw down three more infantry. We're actually going to start shipping our men over as well, our proper armies. Once they've got their art men. Now we need to pay very good attention because this mission is very important and it's worth a lot of money if we can get it. It's uh, hopefully going to show. But the problem is we do need to have more men than the French. Which is not exactly hard to get, it's just effort. Now we have the alliance with Austria. We see click on France. Nobody wants to help us at the moment because they don't have any favours. So we will have to wait a few years, which isn't a problem, because we have the relationships ready. The problem is ensuring that we have more men than France. Now, that's the biggest problem here. So that should do it. Uh, there's a mission, there's an event. Um, I don't really read events, so I'm just going to have to look through the things. Uh, Queen in consort becomes an employer, or we can just get administrative power. Administrative power is probably much better in this situation, as we don't really need anything. Now, France, do we have more men than you? Yes, we do. I can't remember if there's a specific amount of men we need, or if it will, if it's, it will do as it is. I don't exactly remember. 
Um, hopefully it's not. I will probably look it up before the next part, just because I want to make sure. We are losing three gold a month. So, I'm actually going to turn the speed down, ladies and gentlemen, and just... We're going to just watch the game go by. I'm going to quickly Google it. Wait, so... Let's have a look at the England missions. Hopefully nothing interesting has gone. No, nope, nothing interesting seems to be happening, so we're good. There we go. So I apologise about this, ladies and gentlemen. It's just this is a very important mission if it's still in the game. If it's not, I'm going to cry. There we go. I'm just going to quickly pause the game to make sure France has not grown. So basically, this mission is necessary... Huh. France needs to have less cities than us. Don't actually know how to determine that. So let's have a look. Um, so... Yeah. Don't really see on there, so let's go off of that. Armies. We have less infantry. So we need more infantry is the problem. So we need two more infantry and we'll have more infantry than France. So that's that sorted. And we have more cavalry already. Economics. So there is no way to tell the tr um, the city's limit. So I'm guessing we just count one, two, three. Is there a quick way of telling me how many provinces you've got? Because if I hope there is. I know there's a quick way of figuring out yourself. Just hover here, we've got 24. So I'm going to get myself two infantry. I'm going to hope that it works. Now, somehow we're going to make money. I don't know how yet. I haven't figured that part out. If we, if we need to, loans are okay. If you get something out of it. So if we beat, like we have the ability to beat the shit out of France. Worth it. That I can promise you. So we're going to go back up to free speed and hope that our infantry gets built quickly. France has now had the, got uh, officialized the old alliance with Scotland. But luckily we have some good allies of ourselves. Uh, Castile and to, uh, Austria are pretty much the only alliances that matter. The alliance with Kildare is basically a soon to be vassalization agreement. And it seems I didn't have more cities than France. That makes it work. So let's have a count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So, either the fact that the end of the month hasn't come yet, or I actually don't have as many men as them. We are also over our limit by quite a bit, so that's a problem, because that's going to cost us a lot of money. Uh, doesn't seem we can get the mission, though, which is um, kind of annoying. So I'm going to quickly check this again. Very interesting. Lord Heresy, we'll just let them be for now. No one who I like, opinion goes away of mine, so it's not a problem. Uh, mercantilism is definitely a right, it's definitely better than not doing so. Now, this mission should work. We have got better, more cities in them. Everything should be right, but it just doesn't seem to be. So, there has got to be a way of checking how many provinces they have. Is it in the Great Powers Relation tab? No, it's not. Hmm. Nope, currently not. So that's kind of annoying, ladies and gentlemen. I thought there was a way to tell. If there is, I'm just not looking at the right place. So let's look at income. Yeah, it doesn't seem there's any way to discern how many provinces they have. Which is kind of annoying, because it means I'm going to have to try and figure out a long way. Oh wait, there is a province map mode. Where is it? There it is. Right. Get off, get off. Enemies. Is there rivals map mode? Okay, let's just get France out here. Yep, they have less provinces than me, so I have met every single part of this. I have the core. This is weird, ladies and gentlemen. I feel that this should be working. 
Um, so I don't know what to do. So let's do a quick in rival of our rival and get Aragorn's opinion to us to 100. So we're going to be going in debt because of this. But at the same time, it's fucking worth it. I, with this is something we can push towards. It's, it's worth doing. Actually, we can't. We won't go in debt. I'll just turn my maintenance off. So that's fine. So at the moment, we're just trudging along. So we have a consort. Does that get rid of the War of the Roses? No, it does not. It's at forty-seven percent. Hmm. This bitch being infertile does not make my life easier. Hmm. Interesting. And by interesting, I mean it's fecking annoying. My stability is less than one. So we can curve that by putting points into stability, which is um, I would recommend. If you don't want this going up way too fast. And our guy being crap does not help. So we're just going to play this part a little bit longer. I'm actually going to... No, I'm going to end this part here, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys have enjoyed the first part. Tell me if you guys want to see more of this, and I'll see you guys in the next part. See you guys then.